Hello everyone, this is Sir James, your virtual teacher. Welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa concept of ratio. At para sa ating objectives ngayon, first, we're going to recall writing ratio in fraction form and column form. Second, we're going to write the correct ratio in a given situation. And, find the lowest terms of the given ratio. Pero bago yan, mahalagang malaman muna natin kung ano ang ratio. Ratio is a comparison of two quantity. A ratio can be shown in different ways. First, by fraction form. Second, by column form and third by phrase form so again meron tayong tatlong paraan kung paano natin sinusulat ang ating ratios first fraction form second column form and third by phrase form say for example I have here the circles and rectangles. So if we're going to ask what is the ratio of circles to rectangles? So if we say we're going to compare the number of circles to the number of rectangles. Dito, importanteng malaman natin kung ano ang unang tinatanong. So sa ating problem, ang unang tinatanong ay circles. Tapos, number ng ating rectangles. So, again, there are three ways of writing ratios. Unahin muna natin by column form. So, paano natin isusulat ang ratio of circles to rectangles by column form? So, dahil ang unang tinatanong, again, is circle, we're going to count the number of circles. 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 circles. Since by colon form, so we have to use the colon sign. Then count also the number of rectangles. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, we have 5 rectangles. So our ratio by colon form is 3 is to 5. Ibig sabihin, we have 3 circles into is to 5 rectangles. So, paano naman natin isusulat ang ating ratio by fraction form? So, since it is a fraction, meron tayong numerator at meron tayong dapat denominator. So, ang ating numerator, ang uunahin natin dyan is the number of circles. So, we have 1, 2, 3. At ang ating denominator ay ang ating number of rectangles. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, our ratio by fraction form is 3 is to 5. Lastly, by phrase form. So, how we are going to write this ratio by phrase form? So, again... The number of circles is 3 is 2, the number of rectangles, which is 5. So therefore, our ratio by phrase form is 3 is to 5. So para mas maintindihan pa natin, I will give you more examples. Suppose that I have here a problem. Luke has 30 marbles in a jar. 18 of which are gray and 12 are black. So that is, suppose that this is our jar with marbles. So we have 18 of which are gray and 12 of which are black. So, first question, what is the ratio of gray marbles to black marbles. So take note, 
you are going to compare the number of gray marbles to the number of black marbles so again there are three ways of writing the ratio first by fraction form so first dapat mahalagang malaman muna natin ang number ng gray marbles so how many are gray there are 18 gray marbles compared to how many are black 12 black marbles so therefore our ratio in fraction form is 18 is to 12 now since this is a fraction again fraction or ratios can reduce to its lowest term by finding the GCF or the greatest common factor so again the GCF of 18 and 12 is 6 so we're going to divide 6 by 18 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2 or our ratio in lowest term is 3 is to 2 ibig sabihin there are 3 gray marbles and every 2 black marbles another way of writing this ratio is by column form so again by column form we have gray marbles so that is 18 is 2 the black marbles is 12 so we have 8 is to 12 so again reduce this ratio to lowest term 18 divided by 6 that is equal to 3 and 12 divided by 6 that is equal to 2 or that is 3 is to 2 the last way of writing this ratio is by phrase form so again the ratio of gray marbles to black marbles by phrase form is gray marbles is 18 is 2 black marbles that is 12 or that is 3 is to 2 another question now this time we're going to write the ratio of black marbles to gray marbles so this time ang uunahin nating alamin ay ang number ng ating black marbles so again by fraction form so how many are black we have 12 black marbles how many are gray we have 18 gray marbles so therefore write first the black marble or there this become becomes our numerator and the gray marbles becomes our denominator so our ratio by fraction form is 12 is to 18 so again always reduce your ratio to its lowest term the gcf of 12 and 18 is 6 so 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 so therefore our ratio in fraction form is 2 is to 3 it simply means that there are two black marbles in every three gray marbles another one is by column form so again it is important to write first the number of black marbles black marbles is 12 is 2 gray marbles is 18 so therefore our ratio is 12 is to 18 or reduce to lowest term that is 2 is to 3 last way of writing is by phrase form so that is again write first the black marbles that is 12 is to the gray marbles is 18 so therefore our fra our ratio in phrase form is 12 is to 
18 or and lowest term is 2 is to 3 another question what is the ratio of gray marbles to the total number of marbles so this time we're going to compare the number of gray marbles to the total number of marbles so again by a fraction form so mahalagang malaman muna natin yung gray marbles gray is 18 and the total number of marbles is 30 so therefore our ratio in fraction form is 18 is to 30 so again reduce this fraction to lowest term by dividing this by its GCF or the greatest common factor which is 6 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5 or our ratio in the lowest term is 3 is to 5 another way is by column form so again the number of gray marbles is 18 is 2 the total number of marbles is 30 so we have 18 is to 30 or again reduce this one to lowest term that will become 3 is to 5 last way is by phrase form so we have or we can write this as one as gray 18 is to the total number that is 30 we have 18 is to 30 or that is 3 is to 5 last question what is the ratio of black marbles to the total number of marbles so this time kung kanina ang, tina, ang kinocompare natin ay gray marbles to the total number of marbles this time we're going to compare black number marbles to the total number of marbles so again by fraction form that is okay what is the number of black marbles so our black marbles is 12 and the total number of marbles is 30 so we can write that one as 12 is to 30 so again reduce this fraction to lowest term by dividing its GCF and the GCF of 12 and 30 is 6 so divide 12 by 6 that is 2 30 divided by 6 that is 5 or our ratio in lowest term is 2 is to 5 another way is by colon form so that is again write first the number of black marbles so our black marbles is 12 and then write the colon form and then total number of marbles is 30 so therefore our ratio is 12 is to 30 or reduce to lowest term that is 2 is to 5 last way is by phrase form so again black marbles is 12 is to the total number of marbles that is 30 or in simplest form that is 2 is to 5 sana ay natuto kayo sa araw na ito Subukan nga natin kung natuto ka sa araling ito. Maaari mong sagutan ang mga sumusunod na katanungan sa pamamagitan ng pag-post ng video ito. Dahil sa susunod kong slide ay papakita ko naman ang tamang sagot dito. Suppose that I have your problem. Gia loves adopting animals. She has 10 cats and 15 dogs inside their house. Answer the following questions. Write the ratio in fraction form. First, what is the ratio of cats to dogs? Second, what is the ratio of dogs to cats? 
Third question, what is the ratio of cats to the total number of animals? Kung natapos mo na, narito ang tamang sagot. Tama ba ang sagot mo? Kung tama, ay binabati kita. Ibig sabihin, ay natuto ka sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang, hanggang sa susunod ulit nating video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ang inyong virtual math teacher. Maraming salamat! Paalam!